Hey guys, today's Lost Sector is K1 Logistics on the Moon. There are two overloads and three barriers. We're going to do a quick build review to start off the, the video. We're going to be using Chaos Reach with Healing Rift, Burst Glide, Ball Lightning, and Storm Grenades. For the aspects, Electrostatic Mind with Arc Soul. Arc Soul is great for giving me a little bit of extra damage. And Electrostatic Mind makes me amplified when I pick up an Ionic Trace. Spark of Beacons, while well, I amplified special weapon findables, create blinding explosions. Spark of Shock makes my grenades jolt targets, which uh, stuns our reloads. Spark of Discharge, arc final weapon blows have a chance to create an ionic trace. And Spark of Feedback, taking melee damage briefly increases my outgoing melee damage and 10 resilience, which is nice. For weapons, I have an auto rifle for the barriers. Salander Slavo as a general workhorse weapon gets most of my kills in these Lost Sector runs with a Viathan's Breath for champions and boss damage. On the artifact, the important mods are Thunderous Retort, Electric Armor, Lightning Strikes Twice, and Shock and All. Thunderous Retort makes your super deal more damage when amplified or critical. Electric Armor, uh, you gain bonus damage resistance while amplified. Lightning Strikes Twice, when you throw a grenade you get increased grenade recharge for a short time, and Shock and All, Arc final blows when you're amplified, it jolts targets. Moving on to the armor. I'm using a bit of a hybrid build, so I have ashes to assets and hands on, as well as firepower and heavy handed. Powerful attraction picks up all the orbs that I generate with arc siphon, firepower, and heavy handed to fuel emergency reinforcement. Since I'm making so many orbs, I also have innervation, invigoration, and recuperation just for increased. Um, increased ability cooldowns as well as increased survivability and the exotic that I'm using is Crown of Tempest. Alright moving on to the Lost Sector. Starting off we're gonna have a barrier in this first room. Just gonna pop our rifts for survivability because those snipers have the potential to kill you. If you kill it from all the way back here it's pretty safe. No need to worry. I would suggest killing everything in this room. With this build, it shouldn't be much of a problem. These arc builds are very good at clearing trash ads. Both my weapons have Demolitionist on them to give me my grenades back as fast as possible. There is a barrier and an overload in this room, but they don't really ever get close enough together to cause problems. Once you've killed everything, then start looking at that overload. There's going to be an overload in this room as well, so I have something for overload stunning ready. There's going to be one last barrier in this room. Once you kill the barrier, two nightmares will spawn. When you kill both the nightmares and all the vandals in the room, the boss's shield will go away, making him targetable. Once you kill the boss, you can loot the chest. Overall, this Lost Sector takes around three minutes, so it's farmable if there's something that you want. But if you just want to do something for fun, I don't suggest spending too much time farming this today. 